Okay, so I think we're ready to go. So good evening, everyone. Again, it's good to have you. Hopefully you had an awesome weekend, Memorial Day weekend. It's an important weekend. I got to see my son. One of my son is in the military, believe it or not. Son of a Frenchman is in the American U.S. Army. And he was at Fort Eisenhower in Georgia. So he's going to stay stationed there for a couple of months. So I got to see my son and that was awesome. So we are going to go over these four days. Actually, it's three days and next week will be your bonus day for this. So what are we going to do, guys? What are we going to go over? Well, I see a lot of familiar faces and people who have been with me before and people who are new. For the people who have been with us before, it's good to see you guys, like some familiar names, like Derkis, Krishna, uh, Marwan, and it's good to see you guys. Uh, Robert, actually, I have two Robert. I have Robert Moreau and Robert Lou. It's good to see you guys. So day one, we're going to look at the big picture, right? The big picture on how you diversify, you know, this, this is a concept that I've pushed and pushed over the years. And um, I got a lot of people really uh, sending me some nice emails about how it had to help them to diversify properly their pyramid of wealth over the years and master cycle, economical cycles, right? And then we'll talk about charts, pitfalls, and accomplishing other people's uh, 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 this wealth with other people's money and other people's brain initially. Remember, I'm trying to come and approach this if I didn't have a huge capital. Like if I am starting fresh the way I would want to start, step by step accumulating and having the basis in the next four months to accumulate true wealth in my life, you know, with assets that provide income, with trading, with investing. But this time we are going to do the day trading differently. I don't know if you remember my story a little bit, people, but I started in prop firms, which we call founded accounts now. So founded accounts these days are a lot better than before when I started. First of all, I had to go and sit in an office <laughs> past my series 7, 63, and 55 back then. Now, you don't even have to pass your series. <clears throat> they just give you a split if you pass the combine and the challenges, and you can have between five and 20 active accounts with $50,000 plus, which means you can get really $200,000 to a million dollars in buying power, guys. Um, and, and usually most of them are in futures trading, but the beauty, I repeat, it's other people's money. It's not your money. And when it's not your money, guess what? If I don't have to put $200,000 into a futures account, which by the way, I've never done, and I will never do, then I can redeploy the money that I would have allocated to futures to buy assets that are providing you income. So that could be the trifecta of income, that could be stocks, that could be um, the uh, 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 Hard asset, real estate, storage businesses. I am a partner in a couple of storage businesses in the state of Georgia. All right. So um, you, 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 you want really a velocity of your money to be predictable. Higher highs, higher low in your net liquidation value and your net worth, higher highs, higher low, higher highs, higher low. That's the compounded of Warren Buffett. 20% for 40 years, right? On day two, we are going to look at specific strategies in stocks, futures, you know, and cryptos. There will be no BS. This is something very rare. I have not, literally, guys, I have not done a live private event like this for over two years. And I have not done in our mastery a boot camp over a year. And we will do a boot camp in June, sometimes the third week of June, I think it is something. So it, it is it is really rare, guys. Okay. On day three, Thursday, 
By the way, 8 p.m. tomorrow, same time, Eastern time. Today, 8 p.m. Eastern time. On Thursday, I will expect everybody to show up if you want the live event. You don't want to wait for recordings, which could be next week because I have to take a plane right after you guys. I'm taking a plane to Florida to go for a family graduation of one of our kids. So 1 p.m. on Thursday, Eastern time will be our day three where we'll talk about assets, tax efficiency, and how you build that last most important layer for wealth for your four month plan. And then next week, we'll talk about automation because everything here is about systematical replicable processes and automation. I am huge about market cycle, automation, you know, you know, I've done tools, research and analysis since 2010 for the retail uh, side and institution. So it's 14 years now. So instead, like it's really, really important for me and so important that we get unique stuff that are patented by the U.S. office, which, by the way, it's the hardest office to get a patent in the world because we have other patents in other countries like India, uh, Europe, China. Russia, but this one is the hardest one to get over two years. So th there is some things that are very unique that can help you. Now, the, some of the concept for the people who have been with me before should not be completely foreign, but some of you are foreign. So let's get going, everybody. That's the scene for the next three days, plus next week on the automation. And I hope it's, it's going to help you guys. Now, now it's no surprise, I use a screener that is completely automated, so I don't have to use a spreadsheet, an Excel sheet to calculate my maximum return on investment potential from my ages on the rule of third. I have my two calculators side by side. I have the probability power trend box. All of this helps me. But tonight I'm going to help you trade even without our indicators with some very important concept of flow, supply, demand, supply, demand, and how you trade and chop the tree. Now, I'm getting older, obviously, right? I'm getting older, right? But I'm still trading, right? I'm still trading every day. That's what I do. That's what I know. That's why I enjoy. So for instance, today on the trade of eight report, here are my funded account results, right? With one of my prop firms, I made 2870 gross. 90% of this is mine. 10% is for the firm. And none of this is my capital. I repeat, it's very important. Open your ears, right? 90% of this profit is mine. 10% is for the firm right? And it's not my capital. So why am I doing this? I told you. Number one, I started in Fortnite again. So that's the way I constructed an initial capital for me and my family and progressed to be also an entrepreneur as well, right? Number two, those funds are reallocated in one of the biggest pump of all time. You know, the Roaring Twenties is the Roaring Twenties from 1920s. Now it's the Roaring Twenties from the 2020s. And I did that one of my best video on DTZ, Day Trading Zones YouTube channel, if you look at the playlist by popular, was a video that I made four years ago in 20, 2019, just before COVID, about the similarities of 2019, 2029 in 2000, 2020, 2009. I am very proud of this video. It's, it's, just, it's an awesome 4C video that I've done and people have a, a tendency to forget. But if you go and look at it, you'll say, holy shit. He talks about the parallel, the pandemic, the roaring 20s, the printing of money. Like, like there's a lot of parallel. So I don't want to do politics, but maybe we get a change of seniorities for the next three years. And if we do, assets are going to continue pumping. If we don't, 
I don't know the reaction of the market. Okay? I don't know. I don't care. I'm here to make money. It goes up. I want to make money. It goes down. Make, I want to make money. It goes sideways. I want to make money. So today, on trading my ES futures, my bread and butter or my SPY options when I use my own money, I did a trade, five winners, three losers. That's a 62% win ratio. Um, started fairly strong with a little loss at the end of the day, but look, at the end of the day, I still maintain fairly well for the day, right? Um, there was other positions that I closed. That's why they have those big amount of time. But this is your average win. This is your average loss. And the key of this business is cash flow, right? Is you want your average win being superior to average your average loss. Now, I don't know if it's age, right? I don't know if it's age or it's just my brain that works a little bit less aggressively. But, and, and believe it or not, guys, I know some of you for 10 years. That means I, I met you for 14 years. That means that I met you when I was 39 years old. 39 years old, guys. And I will be in January 53 years old. <laughs> so that's pretty. We have, been, we have been on a road together for many, many years. So what are we looking at? What is this here? Well, I thought it was interesting. This is the brain. This, those are brain waves. Is it my brain? Aha, uh -huh. who knows? But those are brain waves. And what those brain waves are showing you is that when you have to make a lot of decisions over a long period of time, you know, in all parts of your brains, your decision, the decision making process, the effectiveness of your decisions becomes worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> there kids. Yeah, I do remember. I do remember most of the names. You know, I don't remember all the stories, but I remember names usually. So, as we get older, right, especially as we get older, we want to minimize the decisions in trading and investing. We want to minimize them because then the more decisions, right, the less effective the outcome, right? Especially this is a brain like this is over 50, yeah? right? Especially as you get older. You want to take a little bit of your time. You want to, 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 to not rush and look at your risk ratios in your charts properly. You want to look at your size properly. You want to look at the amount of risk properly because there's no rush. A rush is going to cause this bad decisions, which are going to cause bad out outcomes, okay? Now, nothing has changed, but the logic of on which you are going to understand things has changed because it's going to, to resonate even more than usual. I always told you do not do day trading with more than 10% of your asset. I don't, I don't change that. Um, I, I think you really need 80 to 90% of all your stuff. It's super safe and systematic approach of the market, which for me is stocks across retirement accounts or no retirement accounts. It's the trifecta of income where I will show you tomorrow one of our favorite person in our community, Isa Mosher. Isa plays golf every day, travels every two months, and made $160,000 two years ago, and last year made $127,000. So he made $160,000, $120,000 using the new 
probability power indicator and creating income in these portfolios. I'll show you the text tomorrow, the, the Facebook uh, uh, private conversation we got, right? And you know Isa, you heard Isa on some of the uh, audio testimonials there. So stocks, trifecta, real estate, infinity banking, you know I do, I am a big fan of uh, life insurance where I can borrow my own life insurance. And then you keep on doing blocks here of LLCs and irrevocable trust. So this is becoming a fortress, fortress that nobody, nobody can come after. And they, when they come after you, they notice, well, it's a waste of time. We're going to spend a lot of money to undo stuff that the guy don't control because he, can, he controls everything, but he owns nothing. Or to pierce LLCs with the uh, veil, you know, the protective veil, the charging orders on your LLCs and stuff. And we'll talk about that on Thursday. And you need to be careful because as we are going to approach in the next few years, a very litigious, very, very bad economic times. Not now, not now. You're, 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 according to my book about mastering the market cycle, which I told you 20 times with Howard Marks and Oak Tree Capital, which I have been screaming, screaming over the years, over the, the windows to get. You got it, you would be a wealthy now, you didn't get it, you still wonder how the economy and the cycle works, right? But when things are going to get very, very bad, people have a tendency of suing, you know, they, have a, they try, you know, cost money or they try to take shady lawyers, they try. So, this part on Thursday, you really don't want to miss it because this is 80 to 90% of your portfolio. So let's go to the difficult part. If this is 80, 90%, and uh, let's say I put a 10% in crypto, which by the way, I am around 7%. I've been fairly consistent. I have some Bitcoin. You can see on my weekly uh, feed, I had some Ethereum. And then I play with another portfolio of $15,000 with small stuff. Yeah. And this change every day, or well, not every day, but it changes pretty much every month or every two months. As soon as my power indicator alert me of an edge, buy on blue, sell on purple, and they alert me to get out of my swing trade. Okay. Now, here's the thing I used to I locate 5, 10% in day trading. So 5, 10% in day trading, and here 7% in crypto, that's 12% to 17%. And then you have 88% left here, right? So even if you lose this entire thing, those 12%, and here the market with some of the crazy investments that we made on Coinbase with the community or Meta, which has been our two biggest winner, you completely blow back the 10% here. And by the way, it's not just me talking and throwing numbers. It is one of those rare cases where the mentor, the person who talks to you has the numbers to back it up, right? So at the end of the year, I was up 27% for the year. I beat Warren Buffett by 7%. On those retirement accounts, which are mostly retirement accounts, retirement, retirement, right? You have to understand there's no options because it's not allowed in my plan, in my retirement plan which are ERISA protected, the fund benefit plans and, and, and IRA, 401k and stuff like this. No options, no futures. So I have literally, literally no leverage. The only thing I could do is I could sell a cover call, but even that, I have not really done any of that. Okay? So this is a really, I'm proud to say, a clean, a clean 27%. So, I want to repeat, it was easy in the first six months of 2024 to add a 27%. But you look very, very good if you had the 27% in 2023, because October 2023 was the low, everybody. And a lot of the stuff I bought was with the guys in the mastery program, in their live room, buying with us. And this is one of the advantage of the, the live room is you get trade ideas, you get day trading stuff that pays again and again and again for your fees 
without false promises. I cannot promise you that. I don't know how you take action. <laughs> I can tell you that I have a guy called Scott Nguyen. He bought a shitload of Bitcoin. He went taking some funding at the bank, the way I taught. I also help entrepreneurs get funding. He got a quarter million dollars in funding. He got about 10 Bitcoins. This thing is up $50,000. He got half a million dollars just by this Bitcoin. On top of that, Scott has NVIDIA. So the trade ideas that we talked in the room, the AMDs, the Coinbase, the Palantir, all of this has really helped us a lot, everybody. To, it's, it's, it's an investment. It's other people's brain, other people's mind, or money, other people's money, other people's brain. You guys to get to uh, uh, take the trade idea, the brainstorming going in the room. And by the way, it's not just me. There's guys like Charles. Uh, can I see Charles tonight? That has been really good. He gave us Intel. Well, I bought Intel at 36, 150. I didn't sell, but I could have sold. He gave us uh, the other one. What was that that you gave us, Charles? You gave us uh, a Shopify that I had bought in the 50s and went all the way to 80s. So this is the type of stuff. You have 100 shares, 100 shares that you buy 50 or 65, the come base, and it goes to 200, right? And you made it $20,000, 100 shares. That was a $6,000 investment. So you multiply the return on investment of being in the room and using the tools as well, right? So going forward, in March, I gave you the stuff you saw on social media was up only 4% for the year. And then uh, I gave an update not long ago where I, would, I was down a little bit from the 233. So I must be around the 4% for the year, which by the way, the 4% rate of return, it's only May, is the rate of withdrawal that I would need if I for 25 years. You remember the retire movement? If you take 4% out of your account for 25 years, then you have depleted everything. You have zero left. Well, if I can at least make the 4%, then I don't deplete. It doesn't cost me anything. I just get the 4% and get extra income in my life, right? Now, you might think it's shitty money, but for a lot of people making $60,000 profit on the $200,000 uh, portfolio less because that means that would have been a $170,000. It's pretty, it's pretty good, guys. It's pretty, it's pretty damn good as a matter of fact because it's a trailing 34% return. And this is not luck, you know. I've been doing this for a long time and we really have unique tools that are extremely, extremely powerful. If you are patient, and you wait, buy on blue, sell on purple edges, and just do that and minimize this stupid thing here, the bad decisions, right? Now, this is my, my positions, the latest screenshot of my positions. You can see I have two accounts with AT&T with 423 shares. I have two accounts with Amazon with 100 shares, two accounts with 75 shares of Google, Apple, that was my latest entry at 172. Conbase, this has been the killer trade of the year. You have seen it 20 times on social media. This is a dividend play. CVS has not been great. Intel is turning into a loser. Meta has been one of the best as well. Only 10 shares and look at this, $3,000 profit. It crushes everything besides Conbase. And Amazon, and Amazon, we've done Amazon and Google, we've done very well. Palantir still doing well. It's at 21, but my cost basis is very low in the 15, 16. By the way, you can figure my cost basis here. Divide this amount by the number of shares here, and you can figure all the cost basis on all my positions. Okay, on the long term. So, as you can see. The principle I'm going to share, I share, I do them with real money for long-term accounts, long-term investing, but also day trading. Now, for those who don't know me, well, it's a sample of the family. There's some missing kids. One boy on the right is missing. Evan is missing. Um, those are our 
three, we have four boys, our daughter and my wife, the father and my husband, just like most of you guys. <laughs> and, uh, and I am a terrible entrepreneur, but I am really more of a of a, an investor trader. This is what I've done all my life, really. And uh, entrepreneur has come as I have done my trading. So I'll share my journey and 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 how it goes with you guys. Now, I have been at this for over twenty years, twenty nine years. I know. If I keep on saying that I'm over 50, some people don't, but I am over 50, I'm 52. And I've done this for 29 years. I started with a program called Endover Trading. Those were in the day, I don't know if you remember, of Sean Feld. We were some of the last uh, source bandit. You know, we were like doing level three stuff uh, when the bid and ask spread were not a cents or 10 cents, but they were like a quarter. They were going by quarter and and by divisions. Um, I've worked for a small H1 called JP Capital with John Pitak, who was the principal in New York and Florida. I was in the Florida branch. And I've really been a discretionary trader my entire life, you know, developing automations, software since 2001. Uh, been uh, on the retail side since 2010 with day trading zones, which research and analysis and helping uh, traders in in small groups, probability power indicator, our new patented group. And and I'm back into this ambiance, ambiance of small groups, you know. I like small groups. I like to come and say, hey, I know Gary, I know Martin, you know, I I, I like that I like that feel. I, I I mean, do I want the world to know that we have great tools? Of course. But at the same time, if everybody knew about the tool, then the tools would be less efficient. So this is the reason why this year in 2024, I'm limited the numbers of licenses to 500. Boom, no more. Why? Because I want to refine everything. I want to refine everything. So for 2024 and the rest of 2024, I've changed things. And I reverted. If you go on probability power indicator, you'll say, holy shit, everything has gone up. Yes, it has gone up because I want to work with a few and not a lot of people, but a few that are really serious about this thing, okay? Now, you start with zero, okay? You cannot buy the meta, you cannot buy the con base, like I did here at 65. If you see my cost base is 75. Yeah, right there you can see 75, 74, 71, 78, 65, because you can see the date and you're like, holy shit, he really, time some of the low of the cycle for the past year in June. And then he started punching September, October, the week period of the year, right? And that's what you have to say. It's like he said, not only the cost basis, the, the timing, right? But trading is out and it requires hard work for a minimum of two hours a day because investing is kind of forgiving. You buy Coinbase at 100 and not 65, it still goes at 200 on the on the probability power indicator, right? And possibly 350, right? It's forgiving. It goes up, goes down, you go play golf like Isa, eventually you'll make a lot of money. But this is not forgiving. This is not forgiving. When you do trading futures directional or trading zero DT, SPY options, put and call. That's not forgiving. So what are we going to do that is new? Well, we go to the whiteboard. And hopefully this is going to help you. <laughs> Look, Charles said, I also gave you ARM and SMCI. Yes, you did give me ARM and I'm making money on them. And I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so, and this is the power of the community, guys. The more you go to the Think World Differently, the new community there that we opened two weeks ago, it's much better than the crap in Discord. It's very similar to Facebook, but a lot better than Facebook for you to consume free content, be in the community, share trade. You know, the more you input in the trade, the more output you'll get in the community. So we start here. Let's say we have zero. 
This is where we are going to use other people's mind and other people's brain, OPD. OPD. Other people's mind, money, and brain. Now, why? Because 90% of the day trader lose money. So I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to sell you the lifestyle uh, with the laptop, although I have a laptop somewhere in, around here that I do some crypto, right? Uh, but most of the time, guys, this is serious. This is a business for me, you know? I don't make $2,000, which is the salary of some people in less than an hour this morning, just, oh, lifestyle of the rich and famous. I take my laptop, my Lamborghini, whatever. All of this, I don't give two cents, guys. I am more about family, experiences, and travel. So 90% of the people lose money. So what should you do? Well, I already one gave you one very important thing, the diversification of allocation. When you only put 10% in day trading, you flip the equation because if 90% of the trader lose money and you put, and most trader put 90% of their capital in day trading, guess what? They blow up everything. It's mathematically, statistically going to be the case. But if we flip this and say, okay, I'm going to only put 10%, and if you lose half of the 10%, it's only 5% of your entire account, you still have 95% of all your wealth. That is easy to recover. Another thing that is even smarter now, that I have been working back over about a year and a half, is I use funded account. And funded accounts are very, very difficult to pass. They have like something called the combine or the challenge, you know, whatever. So they give you a set of rules, a, 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 a daily limit loss, but you cannot go below, otherwise you blow up your combine. Daily limit, they have a consistency rule. And we'll talk about that as we go deeper and deeper over the next few weeks, right? On how you are going to pass those funded accounts. Daily limit, consistent in the rule, blah, blah, blah. But then they let you, you trade and they'll pay you into a SIM account most of the time, believe it or not. And when they are comfortable with your SIM account results, which you can take already a 90, 10, split most of the time, you go into a live again. So this entire process, everybody, I see stupid videos on YouTube that say, oh, I'll show you how to pass combined accounts <laughs> and stuff like that in, in five minutes. It's not true. This, this entire process might take you, hmm, if you are really, really good and you understand their platform, two weeks, but I think it takes two weeks to know the platform and master the platform and master the rules. And 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 I would advise you do the, the sim, they give you a sim. Then you do the combine and stuff. It might take you another six weeks to eight weeks. And then you need to get paid. So we are talking here a period of two months, right? To three months. It's really more realistic that I position it like this. But what's going on after that? If you have 20 accounts across a couple of prop firms and, and funded accounts that are reputable, and this is the key, reputable, I'm going to give you, just be patient, a couple of days, couple of weeks, as we go to the Bitcoin, my favorite prop firms. And believe me, I've tried a lot. And a lot of them are shady. And a lot of them suck your uh, combined fees because most of the traders lose money. So I will give you some reputable. But let's say I want to give you the, the stacking idea. Now I start, I have no money. Or I have no desire to put money back in day trading. Which, by the way, you should have them. You should say, okay, I've learned a lot with Mark the first time. The second time I'm redoing it but I'm going to save a lot more money because two things, 
Number one, we moved from his signal, where his signal was about $250 to $200 a month just for the charting. Now we are in trading view, which is more flexible, a better platform. You can buy, sell. It's, it's amazing. The flexibility of, of trading is amazing. To trading view, which is between $200 and $500 a year. And they even have one free chart you can play with, like where they give you only one free chart, but with delayed data if you want to, you wanted to play with. So you went from $200 a month, which is $2,400 a year, to $500. So right there, you save $2,000 just on switching the platform from eSignal to TradingView. But here's what I, 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 I can help you. I cannot guarantee you'll pass the funded account. Most of you will not pass the funded account, as a matter of fact. But that's the way to go. Hold on one sec. So, sorry, it's going to get darker and darker because everything around me is getting darker. So, on the funded account, why, why, why is that important for me? Because I do it a little bit like the credit stacking. I go like this. Funded account company one. They give me five accounts. One, two, three, four, five. Funded company two. They give me one. I have one. I have a company. They only give one. I have a company. They give you five. Then I have a company. They give you 20. But these guys are shady. And I heard there's noise on the street. They might blow up. So, meaning they are, A, it seems they are not paying their trader lately. And B, uh, I don't know. Seems their business practices are not the best. So, of course, I'll give you the best ones, the ones that I have tried. Travis has tried. One Travis will help you with some of them. And that we passed and that we no pay. Passed, pay. Okay? Now, listen. Some of those per account, per combine, per challenges, depending on the place, they'll charge you between $19 and $80. Okay? $19, $80. They have a lot of discounts because sometimes coming up. Why is it important? Because if I go with one, two, three, four, four and five challenge account, I know I'm going to pass two. Kind of my stats. This one, I have no choice. One challenge, one account. So you need you need to pass it here. And then let's say you went to the shady one with the 20, and let's say you had five active. So look what's going on now. I have two here, I have one here, I have five here. So let's say I start Monday with this one. And I take five accounts at $50,000 each account, funded account. So here I have 200, uh, five times of five, $250,000 in funded account money across five accounts. So I have a copier. I use a copier when I do a trade and for instance, in a trade like this morning, I could place the same trades that I did. And let's say I make $500 for one contract, but then I can copy it into five accounts for one contract, one contract, one contract. Now I multiply with no additional work and I make $2,500 in uh, uh, profit for the day, then 90% for me, 10% for the firm. So I will help you understand how to layer, how to pass, and how to use those accounts. So I repeat, you are broke, you have no credit, right? But you have at least a thousand to five thousand dollars, pay your training, pay your funding fees. And that's it. You don't need $50,000 account. You don't need $250,000 account. You don't want that for day trading because all that money, I don't have to 
I don't have two here $50,000 account, one $50,000 account. I use this one a lot on my mobile. They are mobile friends. And here I have 250, so I have 350, $350,000 of funded account, right? Over uh, about eight accounts. And it's not my money. So let's say I blow here the thing. I do a breaker rule or something. Okay. It doesn't take my livelihood and my food because I am on two other firms with other accounts. Do you see how powerful it is? Give me a quick yes now. Let's move on to order flow, supply demand. And I'll show you how I crushed this morning with the guys. And by the way, with the guys, it was like, but do you see this? How this can be powerful? It's not your money. It's a way to become better at the hardest thing, which is day trading with none of your money. Besides the fee, of course, you have to pay the funded fees and thing, the, 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 the uh, uh, combined fees, but it's a lot better than putting your own money. Okay. If you want, because this $350,000, guess where it goes? Then it goes here. Then it goes here to your safe stuff here in your account here, right? You put it back here, right? And you, you buy asset and asset and stocks and they combine and they combine and they combine and they combine. Okay? Well, the beauty of, uh, of, of funded account, guys, is there is no time commitment. You trade when you want to trade. It's like an Uber. You get in, get out. If you have a job, you could trade during the night. There's no, they don't care when you trade. Besides, they don't want you to trade. Uh, they want you to be closed before the close and they don't want you to trade during uh, reports. There is, if there's reports, economical reports, and you trade just before and just after the report, you don't respect their time, boom, they, they'll close They'll close the combat. You'll, you'll get shut down on that combat. Okay, so let's progress in the conversation. All right, let's get back here because I have a lot of gems to give you for day one. And I thought this will go an hour, but it's not going to go an hour. So now we are back. Let's say now we have practice in trade of eight. We are master at trade of eight or master at the funded accounts platform. I like trade of eight, but I also trade in other platforms for the funded accounts. And here you can see an example. 66% blah, blah, blah. And today, this morning, 2,800. Now, let me show you this morning because you are going to learn a lot from this morning. So let's go to chart. And everybody sees the two minute chart on the yes this morning. Give me a quick yes now. So step one of the zero to true wealth in four months is we are going to learn a lot of the principle of order flow using the right risk to ratio, using the right size and using other people's money and practice, practice until we are really good for the funded account and never use our own money again for day trading. Besides, maybe, maybe if you were insisting in day trading, you don't need more than a $5,000 account for your DTE, zero day SPY, right? whether you sell options or you buy options, I don't care, 5K, cash account. You are not going to be able to sell. If you want to sell, you need to have a margin account. But if you don't sell, you just want the directionals, you know, the stuff that I have done when, when I do it with puts, you can still do it, but you don't need more than 5K. So look what I've done now. My entire universe of day trading is down to 5K. 5K, that's all I need for my options. And then the rest is what? Now I have a good solid 10% for my income trade. And we'll talk about income trades tomorrow. You know, my ion condors, I still do ion condors and credit spread on SPX and tech, right? And then everything else is 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 the, the pyramid of wealth, is pyramid three. It's it's the solid stuff. So now let's talk about order flow. How do we catch micro moves? 
Chop the tree, you chop the tree. I've explained that to my guys this morning. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Looking after the fact, one more time, this is just a Picasso. This is a Van Gogh. This is a beautiful freaking tool. Sell on purple, 4 a.m., 3 p.m., buy on blue. You went from one extreme, point A, to point B, and in between you pass through all the divisions of firm. Divisions of firm number one, divisions of firm number two, retest of division, the middle side. They are all support and resistance points. Now, on the right side, you have the probability, and on the top side, you have the net seller, net buyer, and on the bottom side, as you know, most of you have been with me before, it is the secret weapon, the volume indicator, the same volume indicator that you had back in the days, a little bit more refined, but it is right there to bring you to the promised land <laughs> without promising. <laughs> So, look at this morning. I know at 4 a.m. they touch the extreme, and I know it's about to turn. They start structurally, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Volume indicator starts right away in the morning, goes up to resistance. All of those are my ladder resistance. Let me see if I can zoom. And see the volume indicator even better. And the ladder moves during the day, so it's kind of a shame because you don't quite see what I saw this morning unless you come back here. So let's do it like this. Look, replay function. This is one of the stuff that I love about this uh, uh, trading view. So look. When you came this morning and you play, where is it? Yeah, here. Look what happened. It goes to the resistance. Look at the volume indicator. You eliminate the first thing. Remember, I always tell you, because then it shows the truth. It starts at resistance. Also, you start seeing some institutional net sellers coming. But most importantly, look what's going on. Let me try to zoom again. I want you to recognize the order flow even without our tools. You can kind of say, okay. So what does he see here? Because I come this morning, I, I sold to my guys the resistance here. Right? I was long 24, so here, and then I went short. So look, what do I see? I see that the supply is becoming stronger. Because what the lower high tells you here, and here, and here, by the way, this one is lower than this one. So I look at my division of thirds to sell. Either I'm going to sell here, 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 and buy here or here, right? So I know this is my buy zone. I know this is my sell zone. I just know that's how the tools work. The divisions of thirds on both sides and both calculator works left, right, left, right. But look, if you look just candles, forget, look, forget everything. I'm just trying to help people who are not going to even bother looking at our tools, which is fine. I don't care. You know, you would, we have only 500 licenses, so it's fine. But look, let's say I do, I don't know, can I do this? Uh, can I do this? Yeah, so the, this is cool like this. Look here. If I was someone that just used supply zones, you could see all of this becomes an area of resistance, right? And of course, I'm not going to find this thing twice. And 
when you depend, depend is on my way. And you have kind of a supply zone around here. Around the 24, right? But after that, from past data of the day, it's not too difficult to see lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Do you guys see that? Everybody, one by one. So you follow along. The supply is weakening at the supply zone here. And here, we buy, we buy, we buy, we buy. And finally, they crack, which means this area, remember, cross, recross, retest, is retesting for the law that would prevail later on during the day. So a lot of those principles of order flow, whether it's investing, trading, swing trading, I don't care. It's very powerful, right? Cross, recross, retest, cross, recross, retest. But then here, you are left with no information. You don't know if it's going back up. You don't know if it's continuing that, you don't know. And this is where our tool comes in place because you look at the power indicator and it's clearly showing you right there at the moment of indecision. Look, just the power indicator alone has a fantastic, amazing edge tool that has really changed my life. Look, this is going up, cross, recross, retest. Most of the traders are going to say, okay, it's breaking. I buy, 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 buy. No, this thing is still net seller, net seller. Do you guys see that? Yes or no? So this right there, at that particular juncture, at that particular juncture, it was very, very helpful. Now, you don't think it's helpful. It's a $1,000 contract pattern. Because look what I'm doing now. I'm going to sell one contract. I'm going to go to 10 replay and it's game over. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to follow the pattern of the volume indicator guy. See, it's zigzag around that demand zone, but it's not really breaking and it's game over. It's game over. The VI stayed on the day. Lower high, lower low. Look, the VI like never came back. So just volume indicator alone and replay alone and looking at all the flow, cross, recross, retest, lower high, cross, recross. Remember those cross, recross, retest. Like those are very powerful. Whether it's investing and trading, you will notice those patterns replaying themselves in a very, very powerful way, right? Very, very, very uh, powerful way. Uh, 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 so now I'm going to show you the second dimension of everything. I'm not going to even use the tools, but then I'll show you st st still the automation. So here you kind of put your supply in the zone, your blah, blah, blah. But look, here everything is done for me. <laughs> like here, boom, everything is done for me. I know where my supply zones are. I know where my demand zones are. Yeah. I know where the divisions are further. So it's, it's, it's powerful because I'm like, okay, they are going to come here for supply zone, demand zone, supply zone, volume indicator dropping. Yeah. Demand zone, supply zone. And so visually, it's, you can chop, chop couple of trades like this. Now, why is that important? Let's put it together because you are going to understand why it's super powerful, not just, oh, supply zone, demand zone, buy on blue, some. No, let me show you why. Let's go back to the presentation. When you do trades, look, and I completely screw the indicator at this point. <laughs> so now we have no indicator, which is fine. When you are like this, yes, you can put your supply zones and your demand zone, but it's kind of hard. You have to take the time. They are not already drawn previous to, 
to the trade happening because you need points of contact three or four to make that zone. How do you make that zone? You make that zone because you are here and you're like, oh, okay, Mark, this has been touching a lot of times around here. Okay, so I'll do it here. And then, Mark, there has been a lot of touches around here, right? But that's how you do your zone, otherwise you're you're in the dark, right? Well, the good part with the power indicators, is it, it, it probably a power indicator, is I have these zones at all time. They are all time visually, I know where they are, right? But the second thing that is very important when you trade is this, and, and investing as well to a certain extent, it's very important as well. So pay attention to what I'm going to tell you. I have been to some live feed and I explained this concept. Sorry, guys. I need some water. <laughs> so the concept of the win risk ratio, you know, for surviving and not, we're going to talk about the rune, rune gambler's calculator. So look at this. Trying to get the damn pen for the right column, but it's not getting it. Here it is. Let's say you have 10 occurrences. And let's say you have only a 40% chance of win ratio. By the way, I don't I have news for you. Any trader that is at a 40 to 50% win ratio is a very good trader. So don't take my 62%, I think, from today as something that I do every day because I don't. And at least I am honest to tell you that. No, 62.5 today, right? This is not a usual win ratio, people. Most traders and good traders will be between 50, 60, 50, 60. 40, 60, sorry, 40, 60. And there's days that I make money even with 25% win ratio. Why? Because it's cash flow. How can you have a 20? And I think there was a, a screenshot here. Do you see here? Here there's a screenshot. 25 win ratio. 20. This day, that day I was a disaster. 25% win ratio. 16 trade, total disaster. Inspector Clouseau, Frenchman on fire. No discipline. But I know if I play my process and the, I have the occurrences of the process with the probability power indicator, eventually I'm going to nail my 3 to 1 to 4 to 1 risk ratio trade. And that's exactly what happened. Look, my average win and my average loss. This is why I finished positive. It's cash flow. Why did the guy lost 7.5 trade out of 10? But on 2.5 out of 10, he killed it at the end of the day. Bang, I nailed it from point A to point B. Buy on blue, sell on purple. I, I must have nailed a very good edge with over a 3 to 1 risk ratio. Now, why 3 to 1? Most people and most YouTubers and prop firms are going to tell you something that is absolutely not true. Most of them are going to say, oh, make sure you risk one to make one. Like we talk about that in options with debit spread, risk one to make one. Or some YouTubers or, or prop firms will say, risk one to make two, a two to one risk ratio. But if you look here at the two to one risk ratio, you barely pay for commissions. It means you barely pay for commissions because you are a break even trader or two to one. People don't know that. You got to have three to one risk ratio. So now, how do we do that? And by the way, I'm going to uh, give you another research about day trading and uh, risk of rune. And by the way, I have a calculator that I had put somewhere for you. But of course, this calculator doesn't want to show. Here, the risk of rune calculator. Risk of rune. 
Everything is this. It's all about mathematics and risk management. And by the way, I urge you, your homework for between today and tomorrow and next week when I see you for the automation is to really watch the risk management class in your Think Wealth Differently school group, right? So if you are not there, get here because it's very exclusive membership. I review like this guy. I don't know who it is. He's not coming in. And I'm reaccepting some of the people that I know. And this is really great. You go here, you have your classroom for free. You have uh, part one, part two of your risk management, uh, support and resistance, rule of firm, asymmetrical risk, calendar of event with the risk, with the link of where we have events, the leaderboard, the members, and the community. We can share trades here on the general discussions. We can share options here. So in terms, of it's, it's like a Facebook on fire. It's really, really good. So get into this. Let me give you the link if you have not done so. It's really, really good. And this is where you'll get the risk management master class from 2023, which was a pay class for a lot of you guys. So now, if you go to the risk of rune calculator, you can play with it. And you'll see if you can sustain with your statistics that are here from trade of it. You know, your average win, your average loss, all your stats that you have here, right? You can see if you would sustain or not. Like for instance, would I sustain here? We can make the exercise just for play, 2575. So let me write it down so we don't spend Christmas on all of the stats. 2575, my average win is 578, my average loss is 101. Okay, let's go. Let's see if it's a sustainable possibility. Win rate, 25%. Lose rate was the opposite, which is 75. Average win, 578. Average lost, 101. Max at risk, uh, I will. In prop firms, uh, the prop firms gives you 1%. So let's say you have a $50,000 account on the prop firms and you try to win your challenge or your combine for $50,000. 1% is going to be 500. I like to risk half or a third of that. So let's say 250. So let's say half of a percent. So 0.5%. Trading capital, let's say that I do a combined 50,000. And calculate. Let's see if I go anywhere with this. My risk of being ruined losing everything is 68%. So you see, even though I made money that day, you cannot run a business like this. Does that make sense? Give me a quick yes, no. So you can play with some of the stats here, but the point of the matter is this. You really want to be at 40 to 60%, and it's going to be very hard. But the most important is the average win versus your average loss is the cash flow, okay? So it's all about stats. It's all about how you win the challenges. And 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 and, and the good thing, if you do, let's say, you, you come with us, we train you, we help you. It's not all I do. All I do, most of what I put my money in is long-term investing and swing trading. So if that venture doesn't work and you lost $300 in three months and a little bit of time, I know for you know for sure you will never be a day trader, right? But at least you give it three months. Some people give it two years. Like Travis has been working on it two years nonstop, diligently, right? And that's the way. If you really want, that's really what you want. You know? So let me show you another stat of the, rune, the, the risk of rune because it's going to really resonate with a lot of stuff that we are doing. And we are going to go back to the charts, the power indicators, and you'll see how they are helpful. So if you do a one-to-one -one ratio and you have a 50% win ratio, you are going to blow up everything. But look here, if you structure a trade with three to one, four to one, five to one, and your win ratio is at 30%, which is where most people are going to be, that means you cannot afford to do less than three to one because over time, your risk of blowing everything is huge. 
Is that awesome information, people? Yes or no? Is that like really like stuff people don't know, people don't think? But there is research on this stuff. There is like real research. <laughs> there is like research, guys. There is like mathematical, mathematical formula for you to survive day trading, be profitable in day trading. You know, I didn't spend 30 years of my life just winging it. I mean, I am really into this, right? And of course, another thing I'll teach you that is very important is do not take big sizes. And I'll explain during the uh, mastery and when you are with us in the group live every day, this, you don't, you, you don't need big size because look here, here you have a lot of stress. The guy who takes big size has a lot of stress. The guy who takes a small size, look, he comes break even before everybody. And then when the trade goes your way, then you go bigger and bigger. So essentially you add to your winner. That's a very important concept. I wish I had known earlier, believe me. Would have saved me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, right? So now let's go back to charts. And all those concepts I'm sharing with you applied. Everything that we talked tonight, even it's, it could be on the two minute charts, five minute supply zone, demand zones, support, resistance, net seller, net buyer, uh, 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 signals, probability, it's all connected, right? All of this is connected also as available and applicable for my cryptos. Like when I count on cryptos, we over uh, 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 double, you know? Um, so I want to show you this stuff, like when I have Ethereum, Bitcoin, it applies on everything, right? So let's go to charts one more time. When you place a trade and you have your supply and demand zones like this, your goal now that I show you some very powerful concept is what? You need to at least find trades that are three to one. So if this is a supply zone, a, 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 a demand zone, you want to make sure that if you are going to trade at 513, if you risk one, so let's say the stop loss should be at the bottom of here, which is roughly at 09, so four point. If you are going to risk this four points, you need to make sure that you have 12 points on the upside, which is not easy on, on, on ES. It's not easy on ES, guys, to do that. Because look here, if I apply what I need, that means long position, I want to get somewhere here long. My stop loss needs to be three to one. So of course, some people are going to say, oh, Mark, I'm going to do a three to one ratio here. Well, it's not realistic. That means you enter here at 13, your stop loss should be, uh, let's say at 08, 09 here. So we can reduce this one now to let's say a three to one. And look, now you have your three to one perfectly. Do you see everybody? Yes or no? Do you see that? So now if I, I right click, I say, sorry, I left click, I can send the order through the broker, the founded accounts or trade of it, account size, risk, entry price, tick price, boom, okay, boom, it's done, it goes, my upside is taken care of, my downside is taken care of, my decision making process is very clean. Is it powerful, everybody? What have we learned today? A lot of very powerful things. We've learned three to one risk ratio is key. Less trading decisions because your brain goes like this, right? We've learned about order flow, you know, look at the order flow, do your structure, support, resistance, supply, and demand. 
which we have everything automated with our probability power indicator. I'm showing you the concept with no indicator, so you can replicate for yourself. And the importance of the three to one ratio, important of using other people's money. If you're going to do day trading, 90% of the day traders lose money. So you don't want you don't want to use your own money if possible. So let's go back here. I, I, I hope you 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 appreciate because this, this is stuff that took me a lot of years. So now you go here. And I'm here. And this is my decision process, right? And this is the same as this morning when they came, where is it? Nine, looking at the 9.30 this morning on the two minute chart because it's already late. Here, here, I don't do sell on purple. But look what happened to me. Look all the additional information that I have. That is super important. Bonds straight down. Break the shoulder that I gave you during the stream. When the bonds goes down, it's not good. That brings the VIX up. And the VIX went from one side of the indicators to the other side of the indicator. Same on our um, DXY. Purple to blue, it went down. That means risk asset off, which means market. We are looking for shorts. You can do structure lines like this as well. But at all time, what simplifies my task here with all the tools, right, which simplify the task, is truly, look here, Go back to the yes two minutes. Is the fact that I can't see my risk ratio at all time. Like I can, I can see it. It's very very clear. Yeah. So I don't want the two. I want the two minutes, not the two hours. And we are going to go. And we are going to take this. Uh, Calculator will show the short term instead of the long term. And guess what? We are going to reload the, the tab. You reload the tab, that refreshes everything when you reload the tab. So here's the probability power indicator of rule of third. Here's your tab, blah, blah, blah. So you do the same. Now I want the ES. Here we go. And I want the two minute shot if possible. Right. And we have to show this one, this one. And here we go. So this is the short term. And by the way, when you have a problem like this, you can either reload or just remove it, go to indicator, go to invite only, and put it back, and that's it. So, so I have it here. I go to rule of third. I take the probability box value. So I want to see everything there. So here we are. So if you are here in Trinite, let's say you are up here at 5 a.m. And by the way, I have guys up at 5 a.m. Like Adrian is one of our best ES trader with uh, Andre. You are here. That is a wonderful risk ratio like right there. Because look, you go here, and now you do your short, right? Short position. And you say, okay, I'm going to short here. And my risk is going to be here at the high candle. So your risk is very, very, very low. It's at the low 50. And now look. I can do right away the target to the first rule of third, <laughs> and it's done. And then I send the orders done. So I don't have to figure 20 hours. Where is my support? Where is my resistance? Where is the overflow? I can see it. So this is a show right there, right? Another show that I can do is right there. 
right? I know there was a lot of support here, a lot of resistance here, so I go short here, and I want the stop loss to be at the previous high right there. And I want the target to go to the second division now. Notice I don't even bring it all the way to the blue, but it's still a three, three, four, one risk ratio. And boom, I send the order. Do you see everyone? Yes or no? It's pretty cool, huh? So you got to think, you got to think about all your trades like this, guys. You really need to think because before you enter, you know your entry. You know your exit, you know your risk, you know your risk ratio, you know your life expectancy. You are trading professional. And now I am adding another layer of beauty. It's not even your money. <laughs> because if you pass the point of the account, now it's not even your money. Is that beautiful? Now, you could do the same, by the way, guys, in day trading. Okay. Yeah? You could do the same in, sorry, in position trading. Everybody's like, oh, Mark, how did you get Coinbase? How did you buy? I apply, I apply the exact same logic. The difference is I had a weekly chart, right? Same logic, weekly chart. I didn't have a short-term power calculator. I had a long-term calculator, right? At my fingertip. In June 2023, I bought. Here. This is exactly where I bought. Bottom of blue. Bottom of blue, I mean, literally, this is where I bought. And I can show you again the entry point, so there's no BS. I am one of those few educators right there, right on blue here. And there were a lot of supply zone. Here is the replay. Buy on blue, sell on purple. 66% chance of success. I had supply zones because I had some supply inverted and shoulder forming all the way on blue. And this is where I started buying in June. Right there. June 20th, 2023. Now, prove it, Mark. Right there, mis amigos my friends right there mark prove it mark loves to prove things that most don't do is here because i did it in one of our nicest trade right there i don't know if you can see right there come base june 27 bought at 65 30. Pretty cool, everybody. Just to let you know, after that, you can play the replay and see everything that has happened to my position. Buy, 10x replay, and boom. Look at this. One of the best trade of the year. You would have put 50 shares, $3,000 on this, or $6,000 instead of putting it in the day trading because now you have funded accounts. Hopefully you passed. Now you would have made $10,000 to $20,000 with that trade. Because this went all the way to 286. 286 minus my 65 is a $22,000 trade on 100 chip. Does that make sense? Now, did I do 100 shares? No. But I have 50 shares and I made money. And that's how you redeploy the velocity of money in the next four months. You use the tools, you use the processes, you pass the hopefully pass funded account, use the money of the funded account and add and add into your long-term investing bucket using the tools as well, using the processes, using the three to one ratio. Because on that trade, same principle. Mark, what do you do here? Well, look. What do I do? I am long here, which means same principle. I get long, risk ratio here, the, the, the resistance should be the head, the, the exit should be the head, and my target should be at least my first blue, which is my first blue, 
which brings a, a risk ratio of five. And if I bring here, look, look, look at the risk ratio. So if I go back to blue, it was a three, three to one. If I go to the purple to the edge of the calculator where I expected the most, it's 10 to one. Pretty cool, everybody. You had a 21 stop, so stop loss on the bottom, 20 point, 20 points. On the top, you had like 200 something, 158 points. Do you see? Okay, I hope it was helpful. This one a little bit more than I expected, but uh, I hope this was helpful. You know, it's great to see some familiar faces, everybody. Um, those are powerful concepts. Day two tomorrow, 8 p.m., we are going to review quickly the strategies that I believe works and the way we redeploy some income on the 5% on the swing trading for here options, stocks, cryptos. And on Thursday, we'll do the one hour on wealth. Next week, we'll go deep in automation. Okay? Love you all, everybody. I hope that was helpful. Take care. You have a nice evening. There, kiss. Peter, good to see you, Peter. Back with us, Chris. As always, good to see you. Dear kids, good to see you. Everybody, guys. Hopefully that was helpful in a way or in another way. Okay? Krishna, take care, guys. Have a nice evening. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow I will be streaming at 12 o'clock on YouTube for Power Indicator, like going over your charts and stuff. 12 o'clock on YouTube, that's the only session I will be doing this week because I'm traveling Thursday for... Uh, graduation ceremony until next week, okay? So you have everything. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bonne nuit. Buenas noches. Good night.